This is our office today. So we just came across this uh, nice little uh, exposure of stringer calcite and quartz veins. And uh, you can see a little bit of oxidization on it up here. So we just thought we'd take a little look. Kind of interesting, it looks like there's a, a little bit of sulfides in there. Looks like iron pyrite. So, probably just hammer a little of this off and see if we can find where the oxidization is coming from, if it's even worth taking a sample from. So you have minor amounts of sulfides, uh, just in little patches all throughout the rock, but I don't know if it's anything uh, substantial. Don't know how big this uh, exposure is. It doesn't look like it's very big. Over here you have a interesting um, rock formation. You have a big hunk of marble there, uh, which is interesting. So you got more uh, calcite veins cutting through your host rock, a little bit of oxidization. Quite a few, but uh, doesn't look like there's uh, any mineral in it. A little bit more oxidization up there. So this continues for a ways. So you have more calcite veins. Not seeing anything uh, mineralized other than the occasional few blubs of pyrite at the very beginning. Maybe a little bit here. All right, let's move on. So you can see here you have a change in uh, rock color. You have a contact zone right here. You can see green, gray, obvious color change. Uh, looks like it's almost a change from gray whack like rock to uh, an epidotized rock, maybe with a little bit of chloride in there. Still have your uh, calcite veining. There's nothing on the contact, we already searched that, um, other than a little bit of oxidization. Just thought I'd point this out, you got a creek down there. I uh, find it funny how it's so difficult to get a permit to remove a little bit of moss to test it um, in BC. Then you have uh, 
all this logging going on destroying the creek. Makes me care a little bit less about uh, disturbing some of the moss when they can do that. So we're down in the lower valley now in the creek and you can see your calcite continues in your bedrock and uh, we're going to do a pan here quickly. We know there's gold down in the in the lower portion of the creek so we're a little bit closer to the headwaters and we're going to see, uh, see what we can get out of this. See if there's a bit more uh, coarse gold here. All right, so you can see uh, bedrock all over the place. This is where we're pulling the material from right here, which is also right on bedrock. And uh, we'll see uh, what we get. the cold water from all the snow melt. Not a whole lot of black sands. Just surprising. Oh, you got gold though. Yeah, you got a bit of black sand in there, but it's like four pieces. And then you got five little pieces right there. A little bit better than uh, down below, but uh, we want bigger. So we are just walking on a side creek now and we noticed some samples of uh, weakly mineralized rock. So you can see right here you have a calcopyrite and pyrite and quartzite. Stringers of quartz throughout it. So interesting to find where this is coming from. We'll keep looking, see if we find any more mineralized samples. So, a couple pieces here. Look like they might have some mineral on them. You can see a little bit there. Another one here. Looks like this uh, is in contact with schists. Quartz and quartzite. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if there's anything in these. So here's a piece from one of them. Looks like you have some malachite standing in there and minor pyrite. More samples here. You got disseminated minerals throughout. So, here's the one we pulled out of the creek. Decent amount of mineral, calcopyrite, amongst quartzite. We're going to send this in for uh, ICP and a fire safe for gold. We'll see if uh, 
this has anything to do with the deposit of plaster gold in the creek or if there's anything else um, worthwhile here other than plaster gold. It's got to be coming from somewhere. So it's really odd. You can see the rocks. They uh, obviously haven't been eroded away too much. Uh, small little side creek that flows into the canyon. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end this today because of daylight. We don't want to get stuck out here. So... That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you guys next time.